Gabriel, what should I write as my dividend? Must have that placeholder. Raise your hand if you got that. So just look for the descending order. Right three. There's missing a two. There's the one. There's the zero. And we have t plus two here. Thank you, Gabriel. Andrea, what should we do first? Divide. Okay. How many times does t go into t to the third? T squared. Now what, Andrew? Okay, go ahead and multiply. Thank you. Uh, Kimberly, what's next? Subtract. What do you want to, what do I put here? Positive or negative? Positive. Multiply? <coughs> I'm not sure if students are clamoring about this part. Remember that's 0 minus 2. That gives you the negative 2. If you guys are struggling with the integers, just put it in your, cal your calculator. Negative 2 minus a negative is a positive, so it's negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so that equals 0. Negative 6 minus a negative 4, so the opposite of negative is plus, so negative 6 plus 4 is t. I get negative 4. t goes into negative t. Um, two times, minus two, and then you distribute, and when you subtract, you'll get zero. Raise your hand if you got that. So let's write this out so you can see it. If I take the original polynomial function, the dividend, you don't have to write it with the placeholder. This polynomial is equal to the divisor, if you multiply this, times our um, quotient. Okay. So again, the main idea is that we divided by this. So if you divide this on both sides, you put t plus 2 right here. When you divide it, you get this. If I divide, if I move this over to the other side, you'll be left with t plus 2. If I asked you to multiply those two, you would get this. Okay? So our answer for our quotient is this part. 